We're also following a police investigation in the South Towns tonight. Who threatened the superintendent of Hamburg schools? Someone vandalized his car and left a threatening note. And new at five, we're hearing directly from the superintendent. News 4's Lou Raguse is live in Hamburg with the details tonight. Lou? I'm live outside the administration building where a rally just wrapped up for superintendent Dr. Richard Jetter. Many here hope that this threat becomes a catalyst to end the dysfunction in the district. A rally of positive energy follows a cloud of hate that formed following Tuesday night's Hamburg School Board meeting. And if I'm the guy who's got to take the heat, then uh, that's life. When he walked out of the board meeting and saw the damage, Superintendent Dr. Richard Jetter figured somebody accidentally backed into his car. And there was a note under the windshield he hoped was an exchange of phone numbers and insurance information. He was wrong. Oh, it was an absolute threat. The note read, watch your back, you blankety blank sleaze bag. As you can guess, the words I left out are not appropriate for TV. When you read the note, it was not only derogatory, but it was uh, meant to intimidate, you know, scare me, um, and it was a direct threat. The threat comes a week after the Hamburg School Board voted to charge fellow member Catherine Forcucci with misconduct. And it comes after what Jetter freely admits has now been years of dysfunction on that board and with certain community members. But Jetter isn't letting it get to him. Because of the, the dysfunction that sometimes takes place in Hamburg, as you may have heard, um, it's a sign of me doing my job. You know, it's a me. If I'm the target because I'm trying to do what's best for this district to make the right decisions, then so be it. Um, but don't touch my kids or staff members. You know. So about 100 teachers and community members rallied to show support for Jetter and to send a message to the community. We care about kids and we care about the administrators and we won't tolerate that. I was dumbfounded. I, I was there afterwards and I, I was appalled and just thinking that I was so sad that, that somebody would think to do that. So The community's here with us to let the people know who were responsible for these events that we're not going to tolerate. And the village of Hamburg police are investigating the threat. And this afternoon, the school board president told me he thinks he has a pretty good idea who did it. I'll have more on that coming up on News 4 at 6. Reporting live in Hamburg, Lou Raguse, News 4 at 5.